So I was uh, doing something today, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Got some pine soil a few days ago, and I was going to do this the day I got the pine soil. And of course, if, if you actually follow me or anything, you'll see nothing gets done when I want it done. In fact, it's lucky you get done at all. So, I did buy a pine soil days ago. And so today, I, I like, fuck, I gotta get this done. And I'm trying to treat my plants. And you see it's cat grass and, and my, uh, my basil plants. And, and so I cut up these here that hold the, uh, as maybe I should do that, that hold mushrooms that I buy. And the idea was so that, and just so you can see, oh look, those are the mushrooms that the package comes in. So I cut them up and I, uh, and I save these containers because I know I'm going to use them, but I don't know for what, but they're really handy, and I really like them. So I cut them, and I glued them with the glue gun. This glue gun does not work the way it should. And, fucking, I had use right on my vein, too. It's fucking horrible. Can you even see that? Anyway, so, right, right there, I, I burnt myself on the fucking glue gun. Using this glue gun, I have to push the glue stick in, and it's it's just a, fuck, I need a new glue gun. But anyway, so as you can see, I glued it, and maybe you can see under here, I glued it, and I try to glue all the way around. I try to make two levels, and I've also reinforced the bottom with the inside of these two by putting two down and then gluing them in there. So I made it as hopefully as waterproof as possible. But by burying myself, and then I found out, oh, fuck, there's glue attached to my arm. Oh my god, I'm such a, so stupid. How the fuck am I going... Fuck, I think I read somewhere that it's it's like carcinogenic. Well, that means I'll get cancer there. So, by recording that I got burnt there, if I ever get fucking... What do you call it? If I ever get... Um, Cancer in that spot, I'll know it's from the glue gun. I don't want cancer. I don't give a flying fuck if it's there. I don't care where it is. I don't want it. So that's why I'm doing all this stuff. So I don't get it. Or anything else. I'm still not getting in my workouts. I'm still not getting outside the way I should. And yet, I already know when you have friends that you go and do this stuff with and you do things that that they like and that you like and you both mutually benefit from the things that you want to do let's say health if if you like getting healthy and I like getting healthy we are going to support each other and make getting healthy fun and we're going to use a reward system say oh I'm so sore from working out. I don't want to work out no more. I thought you said you liked it. I do, but, but I'm sore. Well then, you know what? Build in rewards. And, and, and maybe create workouts that, that are, are beneficial. And yet, change them up and make them... So they're always something different. So if going to the park, going hiking, going rock climbing. You know what? I picture rock climbing the new chess. Why? Because 
sometimes not everybody wants to play chess. And in fact, people aren't always very competitive. So if you look at chess and it's competition, and, and but you, you're just like one of these people like me who doesn't really have anything to prove, but I like the challenge. I like the idea of doing something I couldn't do. And, and so rock climbing becomes the new chest because now you're competing against yourself and you're doing things that takes immense physical strength and you can even go against other people who have timed and I seen this one native guy having uh, created a workout routine where he climbs a mountain. Well, he got so good and so fast that I, he knew exactly how to go up that mountain really quickly, like four, five minutes to go up like so many feet. Doesn't matter if it, it takes time and, and a whole lot of dedication to get that good. It takes immense physical strength, but it also takes knowing your terrain and, and knowing right away. It, it, it's very articulate and specific as to all the skills and talents and, and attributes that you need to not just possess, but to, 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 to exemplify your paralysis in, in execution. So when you do this stuff, it, it's like second nature. You don't even think about it. You just, and you're like Spider-Man going up a building. Yes, I'm making it up because that's my guess. Never done it, but I would like to do it. Ronnie Street stunts. And, and there are other people who do this really cool stuff. Parkour. And they can do it in a parking lot or anywhere else. And it's really, really cool. Hats off to you people who are in top physical health and you don't have to be bodybuilders to do it. You don't have to be martial arts experts. You know what? Because of your amazing ability and health and stamina and endurance and, and paralysis, prowlness, I know I'm saying it wrong, but the people that are in your life, they directly benefit. Look, look at Ronnie Street Stunts. He gets to film all these really cool moves and he gets to produce his own movies and, and, and they're action packed. They're incredible and fun and, and he's a real role model that I wish I had grown up knowing that I could have done the stuff he now does. I wish I had been able to be, or at least have those attributes of incredible talents. I'm, I'm 49. That means maybe I can learn some of this stuff. But I mean, realistically, um, if I don't have the right people in my life, chances are I will never be able to do it. So that's why I share some of these things on uh, social media, including, um, what was it, Kijiji, to see if I can find the right people who might want to do this really cool stuff and profit from it and different people would, would be interested in different things. And that's why I created all these different things on paper so I can do and build and create and, and become um, by way of, of doing with somebody. And no matter what it is that we do, oh, this friend, me and this friend, we are building this, this thing for our future. They're going profit off it, and so am I. Me and this friend, me and her, we're going to 
take care of each other's health and physical and nutritional necessities because and we're going to learn massage because we're going to heal each other and, and we're going to directly benefit as we get stronger and condition our bodies to be able to to handle and build our endurance and stamina and strength and all these really awesome things that she wants and I want too because she doesn't want to die of cancer or any fucked up shit. I don't want to do, end up like that neither. And we both understand if we had money, maybe we could go on and get a massage after every workout or the day after. But because we're not in a financial position to do such a thing, we have to take care of each other. And this is applicable to everybody in now and in the future who, who don't have the money. See? Now you could implement Proposition 13 and put a cap on all these industries and, and say, oh, well, I'm a CEO. I make hundreds of thousands a year plus bonuses. And, and I have all of these people and all these franchises under my direct command or, or I'm responsible for. Yeah, well, you know, teach their own, right? I'm not here to judge. I, I'm here to live my life, to love the life I'm living, and to build a life worth living where I can, I can have the people I love in my life and if they love me and they like having me in their life it's all good and that's what we all want it is something that's all good Demi Moore, Jessica Simpson, Amy Smart all these people want something good in their life and it's, it's by strengthening and empowering relationships that you can be in without being addicted, without being controlled, without all these, I don't even know what to call it, but when they're healthy, they're, apparently they're awesome. I, I've never been in healthy relationships, so that's nobody's fault. It's because not me, not them, not anybody before us could ever be in a healthy relationship because we're all fucked up. And there's nobody really to blame, other than the world and a system at large. There's a reason why it's called at large, because we're not responsible. It's actually those who created the system, even even governments and and monarchies and and dynasties and empires and governments and dictators. None of them have any power over this because. Everything gets destroyed. Only this one thing ever survives all that stuff. And it's that one thing that destroys everything and profits off it. Who knew? I didn't know. Maybe it's all bullshit. Maybe I'm making it up. You figure it out. Me, I'm just going to live my life, grow my plants, do my dishes. I'll be over here eating my fruits and vegetables while you go to school. Yay! Have fun.